All right, welcome kings and queens. I am Queen Sheba. Today we are talking Letitia Scott. Normally the Scots are not my cup of tea, but since Letitia had the audacity to get on and do an interview and yet again attempting to paint Melody in a negative way, I feel it's only right that I do an assessment of her. But before we get started, I am Queen Sheba. I cover a variety of topics specific to reality television. Most importantly, I hone in on the behavior and the psychological traits of the Black experience. This is not a drill. This is not a drill. Now let's get into this assessment, honey. First of all, Letitia, you are not a good interviewer. Your talking points were way off. You contradicted yourself in so many ways, and you're a haterade. Girl, check it, because your haterade for Melody, it kept slipping through. DJ Richie started off the interview by sharing one thing he's learned is Letitia doesn't like talking about herself. Oh, really? Yeah, that's because she's too busy keeping Mel's name in her mouth. Then... She threw shade. She came in immediately. And she threw shade talking about when she said, talking about yourself is kind of bragging. And I don't like to brag. I'd rather work hard and do what I got to do. First off, let me tell y'all something. The apple does not far. The, the apple does not fall far from the tree. Letitia is indeed her mother's child. Don't get it twisted. Letitia is just like her mama, jealous and envious of other women. The exception is Wanda has a bigger mouth. We'll get to that and we'll get to that shortly. Tisha was definitely low-key hinting at Melody when she implied that talking about yourself is bragging, and that's something that she doesn't do. Tisha, let me put you up on game. You can't talk about yourself because you're not doing nothing that any average black woman hasn't done or is doing. Melody is, though, and you're mad. You're big mad, so you label it bragging. But weren't you bragging when you tried to taunt Melody for not being a wife and bragging that you were a wife and you're still a wife? Oh, so that's not bragging. Were you not bragging when you said that you were a property manager of a 90 unit apartment building? Is that not bragging? Girl, get the hell out of here. And for the record, Please stop being jealous. It's called promotion, girl. It's called promotion. Because as soon as DJ Richie asked you to talk about what you had going on, baby, you did not miss a beat. You did not hesitate to jump in and quote unquote brag. Now let's get into some of these lies. You expose your storyline for what we've always known it to be. Lies. Lies upon lies upon lies. You share with us in this interview that in the first season, you went to your husband about not wanting to be a stay-at-home mom. And in the next sentence out of your same mouth, you basically shared that that was a lie because what the viewers did not know is that you were actually working. And this is why the viewers do not care for you at all. Because we know that you're not what you are posing to be. You somewhat create your own crazy. (laughs) Then you went on to share that you have two master's degrees, yada, yada, yada. Don't nobody care. (laughs) (laughs) You're not doing anything with them. At this point, you're a professional student. So you continue on with the interview, okay? And you said, though, in spite of having two master's degrees... And in spite of now securing your broker's license, that you won't be doing too much because you're wanting to focus on your parenting as a mother. You're not going to be doing too much. That's fair. That's fine. 
But why are you trying to fool us on the show acting like you're a boss and you have all sorts of business and or businesses going on? You know what? I recall, I remember one time, and I don't know if, if y'all remember this, and if so, share it, share it uh, in the comments. I remember one time Melody shared um, that her life and her businesses are real, and they are not alive for the camera like some folks. And now I know and understand exactly what she meant. These folks, the Scots, y'all are sitting up here lying and doing the most and saying anything to stay on this show. Which is why I say, Carlos, I really feel like Carlos King should do a recast, but I don't think it's going to happen based on his interview that he did with DJ Richie because he feels like Marceau Scott and Melody Scott really understand. I mean, I'm sorry, (laughs) Melody, (laughs) sorry. He feels like Marceau and Melody really understand the assignment when it comes to leveraging reality television. So... That tells me Marceau and Tisha will not be going anywhere anytime soon. I don't, I really think they should recast because the playing field is uneven. There's not enough success amongst the women. We need to see some different women. Okay, we really do. And I don't want them to be Letitia's friends or Melody's friends. I want some different women in the mix who cannot be influenced one way or the other. Some fresh blood. Because these folks are sitting up here lying and saying anything to stay on this show. Hence the reason y'all can't stand Melody because she's the real deal. And oil and water don't mix, honey. Melody had to get away from y'all. The more y'all talk, the more y'all talk, which is why sometimes hillbillies just need to be quiet. The more you talk, the more you expose that she's really out of y'all's league. Had it not been for Melody, Letitia, you wouldn't be seated in a position to even be able to do these types of interviews. Let's let's pause on that. Drop it in the comments. Am I right? Come on now. We got to give credit where credit is due. Had it not been for Melody, baby, we wouldn't even know who you were. You wouldn't be on DJ Richie's show doing an interview. Okay? And if you haven't seen the interview, go check it out. Then you have the audacity to fix your mouth, to speak on this lady anytime you can in a negative light. The man asked you about Martell and you formed your lips. Your lips found a way to pronounce Melody. (laughs) He asked you about Martell. Melody had nothing to do with that. You know, let me tell you something, Letitia, a please and a thank you goes a long way. Even Carlos King said that had it not been for Melody Holt, this show would not exist. I'm telling y'all, Letitia and Miss Wanda are one and the same. You better trust and believe that. Letitia can't stand Melody because Melody is everything she wishes that she could be. Successful and a bomb-ass mother with or without a man. Let's pause on that. With or without a man. But you try to go below the belt because she left a toxic emotionally abusive marriage and you try to go below the belt and taunt this woman because she wanted better for herself, her emotional well-being so that she can continue to provide a safe haven, a healthy life for her children. And you taunted her. You went low, even hinting at why she had her last child with, with Martel. Hell, Marceau cheated on your ass while you were pregnant with your first child. Did that stop you from having an additional child? No, it did not. Your mom said that he cheated and that he was barely home with you. So, okay. But anywho, with or without a man, Melody is a bomb ass mother. She's articulate. She's business savvy. She has a strong personal brand. She has a dynamic TV persona, both on and off the screen. And the final one, she's genuinely happy. And healthy. And you know why? Because she said she's done her work internally. Letitia has created an illusion about her marriage. Have you noticed how everything about Melody, according to Letitia, is true? But why do you not keep that same energy when it comes to you? Why is it that nothing about your husband is true? 
How come it's gotten to a point where you actually believe your own lies? So much so that you've made up a story in your head that Carlos and or the network were trying to hire hire women to come onto the show to lie to lie on your husband. Girl, stop. That's delusional. But you do live in La La Land. And sometimes it's very sad to watch. Y'all, Letitia has everything riding on this marriage. Everything that she has, her identity, her self-esteem, her confidence is wrapped up in this marriage. And that's horrible. That a man, a toxic man, I'm not talking about loving husbands, healthy husbands, And it's horrible that a man could have you wrapped so far around his finger that you overlook the fact that he was giving Coleslaw money for car repairs. He was the middle guy to this affair. You are so far gone in your head that your husband has actually exploited your lack of common sense. He told you about Martell's affair so that you'd feel like you were in the know. And the whole time, the three stooges, Martel, Marceau, and Maurice, <laughs> were run- they were running women in and out of that apartment. Yet everybody's lying on y'all. But everything about everybody else is true. Everything about Mel is true. But not about you. Girl, stop. And another thing, don't get it twisted, y'all. Letitia liked her mother attacking Melody's children, Melody, and Melody's mother. Drop it in the comments. Am I lying? Am I lying? And he follow this. Trust and believe she did. They're one and the same, honey. Don't let that innocent act fool you one bit. She relished in those verbal attacks on those kids. It brought her pleasure, I'm sure. Y'all better start listening when folks talk about the Scots. Kiki said that Tisha is very jealous and has a competitive spirit when it comes to other women. Here's why I say she took pleasure in that old ghetto ass behavior of Miss Wanda. You've yet to hear Letitia address it or even acknowledge that it was wrong. You've yet to hear her ask her mother to keep those kids' name out of her nasty mouth. Letitia showed us who she was on the nap on um, Nightcap with Carlos King when she said the stuff that she said about Ms. Van. And I'm not going to repeat it because now y'all know in the black community, you get your ass whooped for talking about people's mamas. Mamas are off limits. But did you notice how she did it so easily and didn't blink an eye? That's because she's just like her mama. Ain't nobody off limits. Yeah, she's just like her mama. Most people hesitate in the black community before they say something about your mama. You ain't heard nobody else say nothing about nobody's mama. Only Letitia and her mother. Baby, I told you the apple does not fall far from the tree. What are your thoughts? Miss Wanda hates Melody because Mel is everything that she needs and wanted Letitia to be. Wanda wants the healthy connection that Mel and Miss Van share. But Wanda is such an unhealthy person that it's not going to happen between her and Letitia. Now, on the outside look, looking in, it seems like there's a strong mother-daughter bond, but that's not the case. Y'all better start paying real close attention to the psychology and the behavioral components of these people and how they interact and engage. Wanda hates Melody because Melody is a beautiful woman that both Marceau and Letitia's father both wish they could have. Let's get into it. Come on, we're going to keep it real today. Both Letitia and Wanda had similar reactions regarding their men and Melody. Tisha even went as far as insinuating y'all the first reunion, insinuating that Melody tried to sleep with Marceau. And she repeated that ish on national television. Who does that? Melody better than me because we would have stopped being friends that day. Wanda and Tisha can't stand Mel because Martel genuinely loved Melody when he chose her as a wife. No one had to twist his arm to propose to her. 
As a matter of fact, Miss Van did not want her to get married immediately because she's such a dynamic. She was such a dynamic young, young lady. Her mother wanted her to travel, experience the world a little bit. She was a fresh graduate from college, and that's the woman that he chose. That wasn't the case for Tisha. Follow. We don't know if Marceau would have chosen Letitia because he was forced to marry her by Miss Wanda when he got her pregnant. We don't know what he would have chose. In the South, they call that a shotgun wedding. Can I go on? Letitia's envious of Melody because women and men genuinely like and want to be around Melody. All women, even those who shouldn't have access to her, in season two, I believe, I think it's season two, I believe Letitia became jealous of Kimmy's and Melody's relationship. They were, go- they were growing. They were getting to know each other. She put a stop to that shit. She got jealous. Y'all don't remember that? Miss Wanda jumped in. And then Letitia slithered her way into Destiny's lap and they bonded over hate, hating Melody. Go back to go back to the second or third reunion when Kimmy shared that it's very emotionally draining to be around Letitia. She's needy. Now this is from uh, Kimmy. She's needy, clingy, self-absorbed. Kimmy basically said Tisha isn't a good friend because everything that she requires from a friend is too much. And if she were not married to Maurice, she would mess with Tisha like that. Here's the problem. Letitia requires a level of intimacy, a level of intimacy that she didn't get from her mama. But they're not talking about that in their storyline. The toxic black mamas. Yeah, they exist. Those relationships exist between black mamas and their daughters. Let's talk about that, Letitia. Let's get into that. And because your mother failed you, abandoned you emotionally, physically, and spiritually, You demand other women to show up for you in unrealistic emotional ways. Your mama stays in your business and sabotages you in the most disrespectful ways. I know Miss Wanda knows what she's doing or was doing when she was exposing how your marriage really was. Earlier, I'm talking about earlier on in the previous season. See, she can't help herself. Miss Wanda can't emote She doesn't have the ability to emote, to pull back, to know what to say, to not say. She goes too far. But in doing so, in doing so, she really tells you what's really going on with Tisha and Marceau. I believe earlier on when Ms. Wanda was spilling all the tea about Letitia and Marceau, I believe Ms. Wanda probably low-key felt like Tisha and Marceau was getting beside uh, themselves since they were on TV. So she snatched you off your broom. Kiki hinted at it. She wants to tell folks who they can and can't be friends with. She throws temper tantrums when other women don't bow down or cave in to her dependency. I'm sorry, Letitia, but your mama failed you. But we don't see you talking about that in therapy. Your mother uses you financially. And between her and Marcel, I'm shocked that you haven't had a nervous breakdown. Yet all you can focus on is spewing hate at Melody. Letitia is a taker. She wants you to double down on her and she gives nothing in return in friendships. Melody said similar. Tisha was mad when Melody was going through her rough time with Martell. And Tisha actually got mad because Mel wasn't offering or giving her a lot of attention. Damn. Friends can't go through stuff? <laughs> But if you're so happily married, why aren't you getting that attention at home from your husband? Why didn't he take you to Africa? Why did you complain about your husband not financially providing for the kids? Oh yeah, you said it, Miss Happily Married. You said that your husband spends no money toward your household and it's all on you. The food, the clothes, the activities. You said he gives nothing. Oops, your mask is slipping, miss, don't try to ruin my marriage. You also shared that Marceau is not a hands-on parent, physically and or emotionally, with your children. 
yet we're trying to ruin your marriage? Girl, from what you've shared, that alone is enough to ruin a marriage. 